What up, world? This is your girl, DJ Aquaria, representing ATLHipHop.com. We're here live at the A3C 2015 grounds. I have here the esteemed councilman, Kwanzaa Hall. How are you doing? I'm good. Good to be here. Good to see everybody. It's even better than we expected this year. Turnout's already through the roof. And, mm. I mean, just to see it here at the Loudermilk Center really feels good. Okay. Yeah. Will do. Well, I definitely know you've been a avid supporter of it. I mean, since day one. It's 11. No, I'm sorry. 11 years going on strong. I mean, seeing from its grassroots to what it is now, you know, how do you look at the growth? Well, you know, I grew up in hip-hop. I grew up in Southwest Atlanta. A lot of my friends are in the industry um, from Goody Mob, Outkast, TLC. Um, and they're not all direct hip-hop, but the producers, Dungeon Family. We all, you know, kind of been around it. But I used to break dance and do graffiti. So um, to see it actually turn into something in our city, not New York, and not L.A., but Atlanta to be the home of this. And I think the guys even thought about leaving Atlanta. I remember when they were so small, it was just a little little get-together. And now, you know, they were over at Masquerade, and I was like, what is this? It's not just people hanging out partying. It's really about the business of music and all the things that we can do to share our creative energy uh, across mul a multitude of platforms, whether it be digital, whether it be film, whether it be actual music production, and all the other creative things that go behind it and the business that supports it. So uh, to see people actually about their business was what really kind of touched me in the heart. And I said, wait a minute, anything I can do to keep you all here to be a part of it. So we made sure it happened last year on Edgewood and, and the Old Fourth Ward, and this year has even expanded more. But to know that a city is behind this movement, uh, I think should speak volumes to everyone who participates and even to those who are in the audience who haven't come out today because it really does mean something to have a city from the mayor to council members who not only show up and just kind of take the pictures but really are woven into every aspect. I know the mayor represented some of the people who are part of it, who are speakers. Many of them are my friends. We grew up together. We help each other in a variety of ways. We socialize together. I mean, so it's just it's real. And um, I think the sky's the limit in terms of what can come out of this. I've seen people start off as just a kid giving me a, a mixtape, and next thing you know, they're doing all kinds of outstanding things. So everyone in here can be successful in their own path, and that's what I'm trying to encourage people to do, and just let them know that the city's behind them. Okay. We'll do, we'll do. Well, is there anything in particular that you envision for the future of A3C? Well, I just want to see it continue to get bigger, and I want to hear success stories. I think, you know, it's not just about the money in terms of success, but that is one of the measures. We want to see people come here and they get their crap off in whatever form that is. But then to look back and say, I started as a one-man show, or like the guys out here, we drove down from Toronto, and now we're all over the world, and we still give homage to A3C as the place where it started, and they're contributing back. They're either coming back as volunteers, being on panels, or they're actually, you know, um, funding a portion of it because they always need sponsors to make these things go. So when you make it, don't forget what got you there, the people that touched you, the people that shaped you, the people that made you. And it could have just been someone letting you in the door or that assistant who kind of took your call and, and was willing or the person who pulled me into the room today. You know, you just never know who makes, makes you who you are. And you always have to remain humble when you get to that place because uh, you can fall down equally as fast or even faster than you got up there. So you have to kind of maintain a degree of humility. So I want to see that happen with the young people that are here and the older people like myself and all of us coming together. It's intergenerational. This movement is so powerful and it touches so many aspects of our lives. For sure, our brothers and sisters who are incarcerated, um, I'm really impressed with Ming and what they're doing. Uh, we need to stay involved in the civic aspect of our lives, meaning getting out and voting and registering to vote because if you don't get people like me elected, you're not going to have the voice, you won't be in places like this. Imagine if the next time you're here, we're in one of those big towers downtown, and it's the Hip Hop Tower. The tallest building in downtown Atlanta has 500,000 square feet empty. What if that became our incubator for all the different things y'all do in digital, in game production, in, in film production, in music production, and that, that shows Atlanta's uh, legacy in this industry. So I just think, you know, you know, sky's the limit. It's really up to us to dream, and we can own those buildings too. We don't have to just be a part of them and be renting. We can own these buildings. We can own assets like Tyler Perry is buying from the city, you know, hundreds of acres for a film studio. All of that is possible here, and it's possible anywhere in the world. We just have to um, believe in one another and help one another. Okay. We'll do. I feel the ambitiousness. I love it. I love it. Well, listen, where can everybody be able to find you at, be able to continuously support what you do? 
because, of course, I mean, sure. you're a big part. For sure. I'm on Instagram, IG, at Kwanzaa Hall, K-W-A-N-Z-A-H-A-L-L, on Twitter, um, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, all the same, at Kwanzaa Hall. Feel free to reach out. I'm 24-7, really more like a 25-8 council member. I might show up anywhere at any time of night because I remember when Atlanta was a 24-hour city. So when we grew up here, we used to go out at 3 in the morning, and that would be the start of the night, you know. It's not like that here anymore in the city, but we still try to keep it real. And so you just never know where you might see me. So tonight I'm probably going to go to Jesus' birthday and then probably pass through some other stuff. So you'll see me around for sure. For sure. I won't Do. be dressed like this, though. But well, I did this also. I had some events, but also in honor of um, Breast Cancer Awareness mm-hmm. Month as well. So. Indeed, indeed, since it's October. One last thing before we sign off. Can you do a little break dance? Man, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, oh, listen, he's yeah, getting get ready, though. This is exclusive. Exclusive. Exclusive behind the scenes okay. here. Of course, ATLHipHop.com. Okay. Now they want me to do a break dance. Well, bro. Are you I mean, serious? Listen. Next time, next time. I'm, I'm going to be ready tonight. 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 Tonight, tonight you'll see it. I'm going to find you. I'm going to hunt you down. I'm I'm. I'll be ready. I'm going to get my shoes, go get my deal. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. Hey, you heard it here first, y'all. ATLHipHop.com. We have Councilman Kwanzaa Hall here representing A3C Hip Hop 2015. This is your girl, DJ Aquaria, signing off.